and you are sick, whether you be a Christian or non-Christian, and you are sick, and God gives me the power to come and lay hands upon you, and you get healed. And a third person comes in and says, we can't have God you talk about. We can't have healing you talk about. God can't heal nobody. You're defying God, his authority. And in so doing, you will be blaspheming against his powers. And for that, there is no forgiveness. Somebody might understand it differently. Or somebody might put a different meaning to it. But that's how I see it. Anytime you see we decide to, to <coughs> bring down God and his powers, to blaspheme against him, against him. So today, whatever we might have done in our life, let us put it to the Lord in prayer. The songwriter said, everything we must take to the Lord in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. The scripture tells us that we must not cease from praying. We must pray in season and out of season so that we can get the right season. And we don't know which season is the right season. Watch me. A sister went on the other day. She didn't know she was going to die. But the next thing is, before she got born, she died. She didn't know that. None of us know what our destiny will be. We would have been here preaching our hearts away. And as soon as we go by the door, a little breeze breath, but we're dead. We do not know, we cannot tell the minute nor the hour when the Son of God or the Son of Man reappears. It is like death. And hear them. The scripture says, For it is appointed unto man once to die. Once to die. Oh, yes. But after death, yeah, it is judgment. Hallelujah. Hey, we don't know, but we are appointed to die. Yes. So if we only get to know the day 25, then we go run from the late day. You know, let me tell you. So if that's supposed to meet you in your house lying down on your bed, relaxing and having a, a, a coffee or sit down on some couch and you're relaxing yourself. Okay? And you know that being there, death will pass your way. You got somewhere else. <laughs> you don't know the season, the hour, the minute. You don't know where. Praise the name of the Lord. So today, I hope that we would have gotten something to feed upon for the rest of the week. Amen. I think the message was well received. I have a feeling that the message was well received. And I hope that we will not only let it go in here and come out there, but that it will stay here and make root and try to follow the precepts, the principle, and live for God. You can't go wrong. Next Sunday, if the Lord is willing, when you come to church, prepare yourself for kneeling down there. And let me know whether you can tell Jesus hello. That's how I do it. I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it. You're there for a while, and then we make sure that you can, you know, to talk to God. And if we see that you're steering your vessel on a different track, we are supposed to be there to put you on the right track. Last but not least, last but not least, but I don't know when he's coming, but he will be here not too very long from now. I am asking you who are preparing for the sacred chamber to be on your alert. Keep your minds in tune with God. Amen. Are you hearing me, church? Oh, yes. Because, watch, every time you go to Jesus, the journey is hard. So you, have, you can't wait until the last moment to prepare yourself. Even me, if I'm going and I think I will be going, me have to prepare myself. Paul said, though I preach, though I preach, I can be the drum the cast off. Yes. So I have to make sure that I'm walking so confidently for God. Yes. I wouldn't have everybody as my friend. And if everybody is my friend, something is definitely something wrong. Is wrong. And if, yeah. if everybody is my enemy, something is also definitely yes. wrong. But the Lila in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is mine. Oh, God.
praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Give him thanks and praise, praise. Father. It's and worthy of it. Hallelujah. Yes. Today, like today, we did not have to see today. But he blessed us so that we can see today. We can see the minister. The all the matters.
think about it. You could be your own enemy. That's right. You could be your own enemy. Because a lot of times we do things to ourselves and we say this happened and that happened. We do it to ourselves because God has to show us who is the boss. He got to show us how he's more mightier than us. So he allowed, he has a nature called for missing. So he allowed things to happen. But all things work to the good for them that love the Lord. Number one, I need this word for you in other name. Hallelujah. Warrior.
I thank you, dear Lord, and as you brought us here, we will take a back seat to show us a road. Let not the adversary have charge of our movement, O oh blessed Lord. Those who have to travel, travel long distances, Lord, may you go before them and remove every stumbling block, every, every accident, every danger that might be presenting itself, and take them safely to anchoring ground through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. We ask you to dismiss us in the name of God, Father, Son, we want to thank you for watching today's service with us. I pray that you enjoy the service in no other name but in Jesus' almighty name. I wish you and your family a blessed and an enjoyable week.